Hi, I'm Rob from Renovo. We're here today to have a look at a common problem. One of our customers has no heating, no hot water. And straight away, I can see the problem is lack of pressure. Very simple job just to top the pressure back up again. We'll go through that and show you how to do it. You'll find the pressure gauge actually located on the boiler. So in this case, you'll see that it's down to zero. It needs to be between one and one and a half in the green. So we need to put some pressure back into this boiler. To rectify the problem of lack of pressure, we need to attach the filling loop, which is here. This filling loop is disconnected, which is as it should be, for local water bylaw regulations. There's a cap actually on the uh, isolation valve here, which you need to remove. It should just be hand tight, but if it's not, just use a little spanner to undo it. You undo the filling loop, as you can see, this side is actually still connected, which is part of the non-return valve, and this filling loop only has one valve on it. It doesn't have it on this non-return valve. Connect the filling loop. Connecting the loop on. Hand tight, make sure it's pinched. We then only need to operate one lever, which is this lever here. You'd actually turn this lever to introduce the cold mains into the system. Turn it slowly because the pressure will rise fairly quickly. You'll then watch your gauge rise up to one, one and a half. With the filling loop now connected, we turn the lever very, very slowly. You'll hear the water start. There you go, you can hear that. And if you watch the gauge, watch it rise up past the watch. Okay, you notice a slight noise change there with the filling as it's starting to top up. You can see the gauge rising up slowly and I've still only got this open a quarter turn. It's a quarter turn tap, we'll only go one way. Just one little segment more, so it's at a bar and a half. And there we go. Close your tap off. Disconnect your filling loop. There'll be a little bit of water, but nothing to worry about. There you go. Pop your cap back on. Again, and it needs to be hand tied. We're all ready to go. Back to working. Problem solved. As you can see, the boiler is all up and running fired. Simple problem to solve. Takes all of two minutes. Very easy to do.